Yo guys, what is happening? What is going on? What is good? Hope y'all having a great day. Today, we are doing another tutorial video. I haven't done one of these for quite some time now. I've been busy doing vlogs, I've been busy doing review videos, and I've introduced reaction videos to my channel as well. If you haven't watched those, check them out. They're quite fun. I've been enjoying doing them a lot, and I've just been like introduced to a shitload of new songs. But today, I thought I'd do a tutorial video, something which hasn't really been covered that much anywhere on YouTube. I haven't seen this at all. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Now, whenever you watch a video, right, the big, the it, first impressions, first impressions, excuse me, always matter, right? The first like five seconds, you're going to know if this video is going to be good or not. You're going to know what kind of video it is, right? So take this video for this clip, for example, that I shot in Iceland. Okay. Now it's a very slow video already. You know, that is going to be cinematic, but you know, you need an introduction. You need to know where is it? right? And how are you going to do that with a very nice looking font? So the type of font I'm going to choose is something cinematic, something that complements the video, nothing too overwhelming because this clip here is doing that already. I mean, look at that. It's like shot in 120 frames per second. It's in black and white. It's in really slow motion. And like waterfall is just so freaking big, man. It's like a behemoth. So that in itself is already overwhelming. So what you don't want is a font that just covers that entire clip because you have, look at this, this is all beauty here, you know? So you want something small, right? Something just like, something that complements the video. So what I'm gonna do is, I like this video in black and white, but you can obviously do this in like color. So I'm gonna add a text here. Now, the type of font I'm going to choose is gonna be something simple, something chill, and there's a few tweaks that we're gonna do just to make it look even more cinematic. Now, this is already automatically in Helvetica. So I'm just gonna name this Iceland, right? So that to me, right, is, is a bit too amateur. It's like, it just shows that you haven't really bothered. It doesn't set the tone. So my favorite cinematic type of font is up here. It's called Baskerville. I think that's what it's called. Excuse me if I've got it wrong. Where are you? Where are you? But yeah, Baskerville. Okay. So compared to Helvetica, right? Baskerville just looks a little bit more sleek and it looks just, it looks professional. It looks more cinematic, I guess. So we've got that there. It's become smaller and it's become a lot more thinner and a lot more nicer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this all in capital. Already you can see over there, it looks like something from Vogue, you know, compared to that. So go back to Baskerville, right? Now, what I want to do is, it looks really nice already. Look at that. That actually looks beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to space out, right, each letter to give it some more space. So that looks really nice there, All right? Let's see what that looks like. Look at that. That is absolutely freaking stunning, okay? What I'll do is I'm going to make this a little bit more smaller. Like we said, we just want to complement the video, the, the, the shot. We don't want to do anything too crazy. And then what we can do now is when we have that, we don't want the, we don't want the font to be like there for the entire clip because this is like a 13 second clip. So let's say the clip was 10 seconds long. Okay. We'd maybe want that to come in right, right from the, maybe let's go for um, one second in okay we want, we want the video we want the font to come in in one second and then have it for maybe till about six seconds right for to me that's more than enough so we've got boom like that there and then it's just gonna bang just like that, okay? So that's about 90% done. Now what we want is to maybe put like a cross dissolve on this font so that it just kind of beautifully just comes in. Now I know guys you're watching this video and you're like, man, this is so simple. Why are you doing a video like this? But I just feel like a lot of people try too much and they put, they do too much to a clip that honestly doesn't need that much done to it, right? So let's look at that now. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. You're setting the scene. 
you know that see from that font there just the way you have the cross dissolve right and then you have the font you know that this video is going to be absolutely beautiful it's going to be like a piece of art in my opinion if, if you want to put a little bit more okay maybe let's say something like um i don't know escaping the world i know that sounds cheesy as hell but let's just show you for example right how we can add a little bit more and make this just look a lot nicer so we can put that down there make that small and then remember spacing everything out like so what is the font size for this 49 so we're gonna have that the same as well we're gonna have that at 49 okay put that underneath and I think we're gonna put a cross dissolve on these two as well and then what I'm gonna do here for escaping the world is I'm going to extend this to the same um, to the same length as Iceland I'm gonna put a cross dissolve here so that this comes in a little bit later than the Iceland title but then they both just disappear together and to me that actually looks freaking stunning we're just gonna wait for that to load up alright and then let's see what that looks like now And yeah, guys, that is honestly pretty much it. Now, like I said, you don't have to use like Baskerville. Uh, you can use a different type of font. I mean, there's a shitload of fonts available. But to me personally, I think if you want something chill, if you want something sleek and something simple, this is a good font. But always remember, keep it small, right? Keep it simple. Keep it minimalistic because if you want like, you know, cinematic type stuff, that's what you want. You know, you're setting the tone with like a very simple but cinematic looking font and then just by adding you know you don't have to add some crazy ass transition to this font just keep it nice and simple like if you watch a lot of these other movies um like for example uh a lot of david fincher movies where his movies they're very cinematic so the fonts are small the fonts are simple and they're just there you know for like not that long he's not doing anything crazy with them he's setting the scene He's complimenting the shots rather than rather than the shots complimenting the font. You know what I mean. I don't know if I'm if I'm like going on a bit too much. But anyways, guys, there you go. That is a tutorial. That is a tutorial. Excuse my mispronunciations on how to get cinematic looking fonts. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated as well as following me on Instagram because that would be dope. Until next time, guys. Peace.